Aquaman is directed by James Wan and is the sixth film in the DCEU. And I have a really mixed track record when it comes to DCEU. Justice League isn't particularly good. Man of Steel I quite enjoy. Suicide Squad isn't great either. And the list goes on. But I wasn't sure what to expect from this one as I'd heard very mixed things about it. But I had decent hopes as I thought it would be entertaining but not that great a film. And... This is the second best film in the DCU, but that really isn't saying much. The film is kind of entertaining, as the first act is a lot of fun, but the rest of the film is fairly boring, save for a few action scenes. And James Wan's direction is what makes a fair few of the action scenes very well done and genuinely exciting to watch. The first action scene is an amazing one take that could only have been done with a director as skilled as Wan. And a few other action scenes are done like this with the same craft and skill, but the rest of the action scenes aren't particularly interesting or exciting. And the visual effects are very good, and there is lots, and I mean lots of it. Some people have called the CGI revolutionary, but it really isn't. There's just boatloads, excuse the pun, of very good CGI. And the world of Atlantis was very cool and interesting and stunning to look at. But they really only spend time on developing the world in the first act. And I wish they would have spent more time developing and exploring the world of Atlantis as I thought it was so cool. The film is very knowingly stupid and over the top. And to its credit, it goes for it and doesn't hold back unlike some films like The Meg, which is stupid and it knows it but it still holds back and wants to be serious. This completely goes for it and throws everything at the screen when it comes to being stupid. And I can count as a positive for fully committing to it. But, I couldn't help laugh an absolute ton at the stupidity of so many moments. One 360 degree shot of two characters in the third act made me laugh so loudly. There was another scene where a character made a shocked face and it just made me laugh so much. But that shot I just mentioned, the 360 degree shot, was so funny. I get it kind of knew it was stupid, but it wasn't knowing enough that I still couldn't laugh. It was so so stupid and ridiculous. Another big problem with the film is that the CGI is so non-stop that it becomes overbearing and so in your face that I wished it would just stop. The entire third act is just a blur of colours and explosions and whilst watching it you're basically just watching a computer screen. There is nothing that is actually real and was actually filmed with a camera. It just made me so detached from everything on screen and I couldn't enjoy the action scenes in the th in the third act as a result of it. And because of the ridiculous amount of CGI and the non-stop nature of it, the film became very forgettable for me because of how detached I was from everything. And none of the humour really landed either. One joke did make me laugh a fair bit, but I only really laughed at the really stupid parts that I mentioned before. The end of the film is weird too. They have this big epic moment for the last shot with supposedly epic music, and they start playing slow romantic music for the credits, and it completely took me out of the film, and it completely ruined the effect of the last shot. And the film is 2 hours and 20 minutes, but it should be way, way shorter. There's so much stuff that was just completely pointless, and it could have been cut out. And because of that, the film's extremely overlong. I feel like it should have been about an hour and 45, an hour and 55. Black Manta was completely wasted as a villain. Firstly, because he had barely any scenes. And second, because he just wasn't a very good villain. I prefer Patrick Wilson as a villain. He was still only a mediocre and forgettable villain. But to be fair, there were some really nice and clever transitions and edits dotted throughout the film. And a few parts of the musical score were also very nice as well. I'm going to give Aquaman 5.5 out of 10. It's mildly entertaining with a few great action scenes, but other than that, it's a ridiculous, overlong, non-stop CGI fest that isn't really worth seeing, as you'll probably forget it in an instant, just like I've forgotten most of it. That was my review of Aquaman, and I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, and goodbye!